Okay, the next thing is, I believe in carbide. I really believe in carbide. Carbide is brilliant stuff. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. So this right here is 15 millimeter hardened shaft. This gets used in, um, you know, 3D printers. It gets used in, in uh, a lot of CNC type machines. Uh, it gets used as motor shafts, which is what I use it for. Uh, it gets used for all kinds of stuff. It's, it's very rigid. It's very hard. And uh, you can use high-speed steel to drill it or cut it, but good luck having your high-speed steel last very long. So a lot of your milling tools are either HSS or they're carbide. Well, the HSS stuff just gets dull <laughs> really quick in this stuff. So anyway, I believe in carbide. So I have a variety of carbide end mills in different sizes. You know, I even have a really big one. But uh, yeah, carbide is the bomb because that stuff will cut anything. Uh, yeah, if you look in here, I have I have a bunch of carbide drills. I have a bunch of carbide end mills. Uh, you know, I have uh, I have carbide uh, uh, cutters that will make uh, uh, recessed holes. Um, yeah, so I have carbide centering tools. <laughs> Yeah, I, you know, there's a variety of different carbide end mills. And if you get, like, on eBay, uh, if you don't want to spend money for brand new stuff, because you don't have to, uh, you can get on eBay, and there's invariably, you know, 60 people out there that are selling carbide end mills uh, as part of somebody's old shop setup. You know, so you'll get a lot of, like, 15 uh, end mills that are of various age and manufacture and things like that. And other than these new ones like this, because uh, little sizes, they tend to break a lot easier than bigger ones. Um, so all these bigger ones, I have bought these as, you know, a lot of six end mills. And you just get whatever you get. But you also pay pennies on the dollar for carbide mills. But uh, I have so far, uh, I don't know where it is right now. Uh, in one of those lots, I got a mill that was about like that size. So, you know, this is this is like a $90 mill. <laughs> I mean, it was expensive, but if you look at it, cutters are absolutely perfect. There's no wear on this thing at all. But anyway, I got one mill in a set of like nine that had a toothos chipped on it, and all the rest of them were perfect. So anyway, I've been using these, you know, secondhand mills that I find on eBay uh, to save me a heck of a lot of money. Uh, I can say this, though. So this is a two flute, and, and the... Uh, the uh, architecture of the cutting surface is that you can then plunge. You'll notice that the two cutters, they meet dead center. That means you can kind of use it like a drill bit and, you know, plunge straight in. Uh, there's other mills that have like a gap in the middle. Those ones you can't plunge because they'll leave like a little plug in the center. So you can only go down a little bit and then they run out of uh, clearance in there. Uh, two cutter mills uh, cut less well than four flute mills. So that's a two. Here's a four. This will this will leave a better surface because it's got twice as many cutting surfaces. Uh, it will plunge better. Uh, they're more stable. Uh, so if you're looking for the best results you're going to get out of a drill press, go with four flutes. You can actually get five and six flutes, but God, why? Uh, you know, e even like this. This is a little four millimeter uh, mill. Uh, I buy these things five at a time for twenty bucks. They're pretty cheap. Um, but uh, it is a four flute mill and uh, the, the cutters cross in the middle so I can use it for plunges and of course you know the the side walls you can use it for uh, doing milling of surfaces uh, so here is here's a quarter inch mill again it's four flute I won't buy the two flutes not on purpose not after I found out how much better four flutes are but a four flute mill will make a much better surface uh, it does a better job. You get more cutting surfaces. And considering how you're doing this, doing this with a drill press, you don't have the RPMs needed uh, to be able to do uh, the kind of cuts with a two flute and get the same results. Because you need to spin the two flute much faster to get the same result as you do a four flute. Twice as fast, in fact. <laughs> so, yeah, the four flutes makes your cuts better, which you can't get the high speed cuts out of your drill press anyway. Because you know, like mine only goes up to 3,100 RPM, 
and depending on the material you're cutting, you want to change your RPM to get the best results. And uh, Four Flutes makes that a bit easier. So this is a great, great, great thing to have. Carbide mills, geez. <clears throat> I, uh, I somewheres have a high-speed steel mill. And uh, the thing is dull as fuck. <laughs> when, when carbide is done, it's really done. Probably you're going to shatter it before you dull it. Uh, but nevertheless, where is that one? Here it is. So I have a carbide mill, quarter inch. This is like the first mill I ever bought. So here it is. It has never shattered. This is this is like the um, the post-apocalypse uh, mill that in 3,000 years will still be good. <laughs> I mean, I have used the ass end out of this thing to the point that when I got it, it was sharp. And now all the flutes are dull. Uh, but yet it has never shattered, never broken on me. I would love to know what this thing's made out of because it's made out of unobtainium, I'm sure. But uh, the carbide this thing has been made out of is super, super, super reliable, solid, never gives me any trouble. And this was back when I had no fucking clue what the hell I was doing and just, you know, screwing around. Um, but this mill has survived me, which is saying a hell of a lot. But, uh, yeah, the, I, I keep it because... You know, it's still good for some things, like the, the side wall, the side cutters on the thing are still good, but it, the uh, corners are all rounded over, the, uh, the uh, cutting edges on the face are, well, they're, they're dull. <laughs> they're dull. I have used the ass end out of that mill. But carbide will last you ridiculous amounts of time, no matter what you're cutting. I, I can't even imagine why I'd ever want to use high-speed steel. Not after I discovered how much better carbide was. Just don't jam it into stuff so it shatters because it will break well that one won't but uh they sure will so this is this is one of those little five for twenty dollar you know four millimeter carbide mills and i've shattered the end on it actually i shattered this a long time ago this was before i started getting all the noise and wobble and things out of the system so uh, back then i would break mills pretty quick just because movement and chatter and all that kind of stuff was a bad thing but now that i have this thing a lot more stable I don't hardly ever break a mill. Uh, it, it was the movement in the system, the movement in the quill, the movement in my uh, cross vise, things like that that was causing me to break carbide mills. And now, uh, you know, these exact same mills. So here's another one that's never seen the light of day, just still sitting in this package. I have like four of them up there. Uh, th those ones, I get many, many hours of use out of them. Whereas initially, I was getting like, say, 15, 20 minutes out of one of these cheapy carbide mills before they would shatter and now that's not the case and it all came down to me fixing all the places where I had slop in the system you know retuning these retuning all this stuff uh, making everything so that there was no movement you know so that I could get results a lot like a mill anyway uh, what else do I want to show you uh, oh yeah so I'll talk about this in the next video